Hello, dear traders. This video is a description of the trading system which is published on the website. For those who are aware of this particular video and who knows what kind of trading system I use, I want to say that I fully updated this indicator, rewrote it from scratch, and made different changes. For those who watch the video for the first time, I'll tell you in detail how I trade, what methods I use and provide information, money management, and various signals. I use a dark background. I prefer to trade in the evening as my eyes are more habitual to this color. Although a white background is also regularly used. Now I set the indicator which I use. Uh, here you can find three main indicators. As I said, the indicator mustn't contain more than three indicators. If it contains more than three indicators, for example, 10, 15, or 20, that isn't very good and can cause different unpleasant situations. My trading system is based on the channel and on the movement of prices. That is, I'm currently working on a trend and recommend to you. Professional traders recommend to work with a trend because we probably will never know when the trend starts. Uh, there is uh, a great probability uh, that the trend can be opened against future movements and thus suffer loss. My system has three basic functions. Channel, moving average, and confirmation, trend. With the help of the channel, I determine the local maxima a local minimum as well as strong resistance zone and support. Our channels talk about the beginning of the formation of trend. But how does it work? How do I use it? How to understand it? I use two main channels. I call in the, uh, uh, indicators for example, uh, when the channel end is reduced, it's painted in red. When the channel is increased, it's painted in blue. When the channel is stable, it's painted in blue and draws horizontal lines. Now the channels are installed on the chart. One with a period on 72, that is 3 days, and the second channel with a period of 120, that is 5 days. When the price is suitable to the channel, this means that the price is highly supported. The channel is drawn on a local maximum and a local minimum. As you know, the local minima and maxima is a zone of strong support from a strong resistance, where it's possible to see the beginning of a trend. Uh, so, trend is a price movement in which a new high is higher than the previous one, and a new low is higher than the previous one. If a new high is lower, than the following high and a new low is lower than the previous low. It's a downtrend. If the price of a new high is higher than previous one and a new low is lower than the previous one, then the price moves in a horizontal position. Uh, so, direct trades uh, should be awarded in a flat, and it isn't recommended to trade in flat. It's essential to afford flats, time frames, or other current pairs. 
uh, price direction shows the average price, that is. If the average price increases, so the current price is more likely to tend towards the average price. Uh, my system is built in such a way that added different indicators to my trading system and not vice versa. I built a trading system without using indicators and this is very important. If you're earning your trading tactics and don't make it out of the indicators but on the contrary to your trading strategy, your understanding of indicators, uh, you can choose indicators that will show a trend or a flat and confirm and filter signals. Most can drain all the trading system because they can't develop the open trading system. But they develop their own trading system using a heap of FCQ indicators. In my system, I use an indicator known as Ishimoku. But it's processed and its main signal is reflected with uh, this lighting. So let's open the chart. I'll tell you about Ishimoku and how it works with my system. It's believed that when red and blue lines go beyond a cloud, a cloud is a part of a histogram, we have a trend. I truly like this thing because I analyzed, watch how it works, and I did this indicator has an effect and it can be very important. On the basis of this indicator, it's not recommended to make decisions. But like a confirmatory indicator, it's a very good one. Note that the red line has moved beyond and the blue line has moved beyond too. This is a signal to the fact that we have an uptrend. Indeed, first the price rose, the indicator here may occur at some point, but its properties deceive very rarely, and then are particularly dangerous. The red line came out of the clouds, and the blue line is also already out of the cloud. That is. The indicator says that it's possible to be a downward trend, but in the end we can see an uptrend. These two lines came out of the cloud and now we have a trend. Here we have the blue line that also came out of the cloud and the red line is also a cloud. This indicator was interesting for us, of course, the way how it came out of the, of the cloud. When it happens, then we can see the proof that we have a strong trend. How, how can we open that transaction and receive the signals? When do we need to enter the market? So, trading is conducted in the system in the direction of the daily trend. That is, we open the daily chart and see what we did last. But the most important thing is to start with the time frame. Please note that we had a growth and then it began to denote a correction. That is, a flat is downward. The new high is lower than the previous one, and the new low is lower than the previous one. 
the price didn't go away during the last local minimum. Hence, the conclusion is that in the case of penetration of this descending channel, we continue to grow. From our experience, I know that this figure is a so-called flag. Based on my technical analysis, I draw the flag with a quick set and a figure. This flag says that the movement will probably continue. From my experience, I know what alert wave 1, 2, 3 and 4 means. Based on this analysis, the quick set is the first wave, the back out is the second wave, and now we can see the third wave, which will be continued on an upward trend and the nearest points of resistance based on the indicated channel. Look at our price, we can see where we have accumulated. It's a local high where the price was regularly got lost. However, I never use counter figures and this lab is not perceived as a specific number of prices. But as a range where we can see that the level is breached. You can't clearly rely on the price specific figure. So, some words about Forex. A range of about 50 60 points is for a 4 digit broker. A 5 digit broker will have 500 or 600 points. Respectively, when the price will pass these levels, then there will be possibility for its formation. Okay, we should remove all necessary objects. I see that our moving is directed upwards. We have confirmation from Mishimoko and this means that we can buy. We should take a moment and find effective ways for buying. I can remove unnecessary objects. Usually, when I trade, I try to leave them, but now it's better to remove them. Okay, let's speak about an input signal. The input signal appears uh, after movements intersection. The price is about this moving. The following is what I accept expect when the price returns to the movers and can be closed above them. Price movers are crossed. The price went up and then back to its moving. Now I make a purchase. Next, Ishimoku confirms my assumption that the price will rise and here slowly begin to rise as top loss. When you open orders for the current candle, stop loss is placed in the last line. It's about 615 points. 650 points. Now we have about 600, 650 points. I don't place a stop loss less than 50 points for a 4 g broker and less than 500 points for a 5 g broker because the noise knocks out its stop loss and the price will go in my direction. I don't recommend to use a stop loss below 550 points. In my system, I in my in my system, I don't use a take profit, but I tell you how I use it. The signal is a signal for buying. So let's consider the following. 
Our price went beyond this limit. Our movers were crossed. Now we can see confirmation. As a result, I will sell and there will be stop loss, a 100 stop loss. But the system can also be wrong and I don't specify a trend in which I have to buy. That is, if I use only an hourly time frame and don't use a global one, there will be stop loss. However, if prior to an analysis I observed daily chart determined that now we have an upward movement in the last few days, six five days, an upward movement, then I need to start buying. Using a daily trend, here we don't make a purchase. Next, our movements are crossed up, the price has gone over the stop moving and it had already gone through another candle. Here I can buy according to a trading strategy, that is, the price is beyond the moving. It's a signal to the fact that you can already buy. However, more aggressive traders using this strategy make a purchase when the price goes inside our moving, the swimming 10 or 20 points when it comes to a 4 digit broker. But I stick to more common methods. I go to buy and when the price goes from the movers, I make a few purchases. I will tell you how to purchase later. So, I put a stop loss outside the borders. In those moments when the price starts to move, expands its channel and shows us the trend, it has broken through the local maximum. It's moving now. Movies are directed upwards and there is issue markers Confirmation. I put a stop loss upwards, then it's a manually on an automatic line. If I'm not in front of the computer and trailing can occur, a large trailer of 500 600 points and the price rises quietly. At certain times when the correction starts, I stop trailing. And look what will happen next. A close part of a position I keep creeping as top loss. So let's look at our signals. The price went to the movers and we have bought here and here. Let's look at another station that happened in 2015. It's a daily chart and we have a downtrend. And even a daily chart, if it's sold after each day, we would get a great profit throughout the year. I want to find where I set up a line to a more detailed review in 2015 and it's a downtrend. Our price went to the movers, so we sold. Went to the movers and then we sold. We sell only a downward movement. The price came on the intersection of the Morris month ago 
and then came out and we sold it. So please note, the price went inside and then came out, so we should sell. Here is a small upward movement. The price of moving in intersected upwards. The price came in, went out. We bought. Price does not work in a lower register. We should wait because we have a downward movement. The movers are intersected. We should sell when it comes to money management. These transactions should be moved to break even. The price rose, went to the movers, came out, we bought it. A stop loss should be installed below and then we need to wait for some time. Again the intersection and then board. And in this way we have gained a position which gives us a plus. You can gain a few dozen orders which are moved if you move it in the black in time. As a result you will alleviate your psychological stress. Uh, you won't worry if you can get a minus. Conver conversely, having a lot of deals that are in the black will feel much better psychologically and won't do and won't do stupid things. You will know that you didn't record there forty or fifty thousand troubles. But on the global trend you can up even more. Plus, you additional open transactions and stop loss. In this way, you comply with trade rules to help profit grow. And that's why I'm opposite to scalping. Scalping doesn't allow a profit to grow. They merely work only due to noise on the currency pair. This means that the closure of the take profit and stop loss is just coincidence as a result of noise. The foreign exchange market is highly volatile and they force the profits trigger as a result of noise. If they are less than 500 or 600 points. It was a penetration. The price turned around and went. We have the 3, 4 and 1 position, which is in a good place. We can start selling safely. And then we put a stop loss on top. And when the price goes down, we move a stop loss in the black. And at the same time, we don't experience psychological challenge. Our deal is probably very profitable. If this deal was paid out according to scalping or trailing, or before you close it, you can go in such movements with a trend. But since we have a downtrend, then in that case, it's better to wait for a great movement for buying. In this case, a trend, your friend, and should work only using this particular map, uh, uh, using this particular trend. So, by using this particular trend, you can earn good money, one thousand points, one thousand rubles or dollars.
And but in the flat, you can never let your profits run. Therefore, don't use the flat in your trading. If you have some extra money and you want to just play, stimulate your nerves, please do it. The price goes down, we have a downward movement and we go down and take a position down. During 2015, using the trading system, people who followed the rules and use the system according to their own trading principles obtained a very good profit. In my opinion, the situation that unfolded over the past two weeks, those who tried to adhere to these rules could buy a new car or some other necessary things. We have a moment down, so there is no sense to buy. Therefore, the most logical is that the price goes down and we sell. In this case, note that our channels, channels don't give even a single point of growth. They are falling, falling and falling. The channels in this system is very good as they provide an additional clue. They are considered to be very good because in this case the channel grows, the lower line of the channel is already beginning to rise. We have the first signs that our trend is going to grow up. Channels are growing up, the upper channel is also growing up, and we started to fill a position on the trend. One position, two, three, four, five, six, seventh position, a stop loss is rising to the maximum. Stop loss should be kept above the midline. If you typed the position 5, 7 or 8 orders, then a stop loss should be kept above the center line of all these orders, because in the event of sudden movement, they can be closed and thus you won't receive a miners. That's what concerns the signals of the trading system. We absorbed a daily chart. We have an outgoing traffic on higher time frames for the last 3, 5 or 8 days to inspect the transaction only on the purchase. A working time frame for this strategy is 1 hour. So, let's go to an hourly chart and when wait when the movers will cross out for the first time. After the first intersection we wait when the price will go back to the inside of the moving, then it will come out of our moving. But why do I use the movers? Why do I use this average movers and this indicator? The fact is that my understanding of the price is as follows. I understand an average price as a fair one. If the current price is above the moving, this means we overbuy. If the price is below, this means we oversell. If I go into a store and want to buy, for example, a pack of cigarettes that costs 100 rubles. I come today and know that a pack of cigarettes cost 100 rubles yesterday. Today I come and now it costs 300 rubles. I won't buy it because I believe that it's expensive and thus I will wait for the moment when the producers or the store's director understand that the price is too expensive and start reducing it. Two days late, when I arrive, I see that cigarettes cost 
150 rubles. Then maybe I'll buy it. Thus, an average price is a fair price of 100, 150, 124, 150, and 174 rubles, and so on. This is an average moving price for a pack of cigarettes. Accordingly, the demand for cigarettes rises. As a result, the producers of store managers can readily increase the cost of a pack of cigarettes. That's why, looking at the price of euro dollar, I conduct such an analysis. Such an analysis. If sellers don't want to buy the euro or the dollar at this price, then the moment will come when the price will fall and return to its fair average price. Because a pack of cigarettes can't always cost 150 rubles. Someone wants to earn more. That's why I have added an average moving. If cigarettes cost roughly 8 to 90 rubles, or maybe even 100 rubles, then there is a strong likelihood that the price will continue to grow. That's why my challenge helped me show a difference within the price fluctuation occurred and where the price has gone further. Accordingly, if there are buyers who are eager to purchase cigarettes, then the price will rise and the channel will grow too. If no one will buy cigarettes for 300 rubles, then it will fall and the channel will also decline. To do this, I use the channel Eshimako. The trans con uh, confirmations I built exactly the same way on a sliding and are merely an analytical tool, just a filter. In this video, I showed how I applied trading strategy indicators, but also want to draw attention to the fact that my trading strategy isn't built on the basis of indicators. Thus, I see additional indicators when it comes to my trading strategy that it visually helps to determine whether the breaking of the channel goes out, is the price of a local maximum or a minimum goes out or not. In addition, I can trace the growth of the average price of current appear, customer demands and the seller's offers. So, now let's talk about money management. How we control money management when using this trading strategy? I'll tell you how I do it. In principle, you can create your own system and work with it. My task is just to demonstrate an example. When I open the deal to buy, I open my lord and two warrants. Why two warrants? When the first one is closed by take profit, the second one is automatically transferred to stop loss in the black level. I get a profit plus I get a position that I left for the future. That is, today I gained a crust of bread and left the position that will bring me a great profit later. Based on this information, there is a set position on the trend. Once again, I want to repeat, trade in the trend and don't pay attention to the flat. Thus, I installed a take profit on the upper channel and a stop loss on the bottom line. As soon as the profit closed, I place a stop loss in the break-even. Next time you want to buy on the trend, I get a position from 1 up to 20 or 30 orders. In 2015, there was a moment when I have collected more than 50 orders in one position 
was a total stop loss because it was a strong trend. A stop loss is always greater than an average price at which the position can be closed in order not to get a negative result. In some situations, I use a Japanese as MetaTrader 4 allows to do this. For example, by accessing the situation correctly, I sold and wasn't right. At the top of the line, I set protective orders to buy. I have two orders open at the price of 107, 181. They were in profit. But the take profit didn't work and the price turned around and went in the opposite direction at the level of 108, 465. I vanished this position and then picking up the position of the trend when I saw what had happened. I see that we have a growing trend. Then I buy it. As a result, uh, the given position recovers lower stars. I have two orders of the same lord. One order gets take profit and the second order gets the break even. This means if you take profit triggered in the first order, then you need to place a lord in the breaking level. and leave the scene for an indefinite period of time in order to troll automatically or manually stop loss. By using stop loss, the transaction in case of failure is closed by stop loss. In case of using coating, a miner is vanished and then I choose the appropriate trend, trade, and gain a position which overlaps our losses. I don't use a flat. So this system is very simple. It's confirmed by expectation. I figured out this option. What does it mean? This means that this system uh, has about from 7 to 9 profitable transactions and from 1 to 3 unprofitable ones. This means that if I get a lost, the next signal will be with a probability of almost 50 to 50 profits. If I got three losses in a row, then there is a probability that the next trade will include a profit of 99.99%. Therefore, I am calm. I don't get nervous. Don't make any emotional actions. I know that I will get profit in one or two transactions which covers all previous losses. In this system there is a loss and you can get stock losses and then have a certain periodicity. But if you trade with the trend, start with the analysis of the daily chart. Put the stop loss and take profit in more than 500 points on a 5-digit broker of 50 points. In such a way, it's possible to make profits consistently. Everything depends on the extent to which you will trade. Now, what to do with the flat? If today you want to earn some money or maybe lose them, what to do in this situation if you want to do something? I set up a program, it's called We Are Watch, List and Linker. This is an old version. The new one is now being prepared and developed. So, 
I still need three major windows. Advisor properties. I need the skins, so here in this version there are no skins, so it'll be a white version. Press a one, please. I place it as I like, and you can do the same way. I do something similar to what is done in professional terminals and a different U.S. stock markets. So, here we can see buttons and put them all. The program is called the linker. It creates its own review. The program helps you to work in pairs and find them, in which there is a trend. Here it's necessary to set a daily chart uh, for some reason, it's not switched to the 4-hour chart. I have a downtrend. It's confidence strong. The strategy works great too. We can use it, but it's necessary to be careful with stops and reduce the distance. Here we also have a downward trend which attracts our attention and we can sell the euro dollar we are watching i almost don't use the mouse but the keyboard so i press down it switched Sometimes we can trace the situation when there is no price data. In this case, it perhaps easier for us to open another chart and switch it to a minute time frame. Then we can see the situation of swapping price data. Here we have a downward trend, here we also have a downward trend. You can sell. The indicator did not cheat it. There are no minute data. So it's not possible to get accurate information. So next, let's switch to the next symbol and analyze. Here, uh, there is a potential for sale. Here we can see a flat, so we don't touch this position. Now we have a very good potential in daily chart. The price has gone to movers, then came out of them, and now there is a strong likelihood that it will continue to grow. So, let's look at a huge spread in this pair. But a spread isn't particularly important for a strategy because we are working on long deals longer than a spread at times. Okay, 
Uh, so uh, here we have a dangerous situation. On a daily chart, we came to the resistance, and what will happen next is unknown for us. We had to buy before when the price came into the internal potential. It still came and went out of it, but it, it's doubtful. So, in addition, we can add that on the daily chart you have a downtrend. There is a strong likelihood that the price will continue to fall. There is a short-term growth on a 4-hour chart. Here we have already lost the likelihood of entry. If we want to follow the latest trend, or the low, the channel is also growing. It was necessary to go today somewhere uh, five or six hours ago. And we would be able to, col to collect a hundred points here. With the help of the program, I slip on current pairs, pick up something. I don't like and remove it leaving five and six pairs and once a week I pick up a few currency pairs to trade in the near future. So that's probably everything that I wanted to tell about my trading system. Um, I demonstrated you all the updates and hope uh, that you enjoyed it. Um, and anyway, I hope it will bring you a favor and you get some experience and knowledge that will help you succeed. So, and the last thing you need to do in order to get a profit, make money and be a successful trader, you need to subscribe to this channel put a like and share on different social networks. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you good luck and success.